I would I would hope he wouldn't go anything else for Sark. Yeah. This is like good turn. Okay, Battlefield. I think this was a really bad. Oh, re. Jeez. <laughs> a re, dude. Uh, okay, so Battlefield I think is a really strange. Well, not strange, because... Oh. Oh. Yeah, you can't DI out on that. Yeah, it'll get hit every well, time. Well, okay, I guess he probably expected a forward throw, so that is a true mix-up, where yeah. you can just up throw Fox, and if he's DIing away for forward throw, you kill him at zero. It's really stupid, but Marth kind of needs it in this matchup, because Fox can also kill at zero. But yeah, so <laughs> Battlefield... Um, I think Marth is, like, super godlike on this stage, particularly against Fox. Um... Fox yeah. can't. Fox's recovery is significantly worse here. It's, it's not like, Mars edge guards aren't necessarily better. They're just easier, and I mean that still means a lot. Yeah, I feel like Spacey's who strike to battlefield a lot. It's just one of the only stages where you actually have trouble. So I don't get why they yeah, do it. I agree with your thoughts on that. I would usually take a Spacey here pretty safely. Yeah, and there we saw um, Arsenal's correctly Ooh. red. Arcs mix up there, so that was good on his part, but then he died right after that. Yeah. That so yeah Arsenal's, Arsenal's is really good. I think Arsenal's a very respectable player. Yeah. Um, but so yeah, he takes a stock. Just okay, so looking. they're just kind of... Oh, that was a really good double jump. Good stuff, Arsenal's. feel like he could have gotten a back air there yeah. if so, he had run up. Um... Okay. Oh. Okay, so one thing about Battlefield is that um, this is actually the only stage where Mars up air doesn't cover the whole platform, actually. Really? That's the one thing I don't like about this stage against Fox, but usually you can mitigate it by walking. It's just a little bit more difficult. Does your up tilt cover it? Or does it cover... No, that doesn't cover it on any stage. Okay, I thought not. I mean, you have to walk. Yeah. Like, you can you can cover everything on any stage by just walking. Yeah. But um, with up air on every other stage, you can just up air in place, and you don't have to walk. Is that better? Hello? Okay. Okay, there we go. So, um, yeah, Ark. The other thing about good players... Okay, so... This is something that Laudandus has talked about, and he's one of the only people I've ever seen identify this. Um, that neutral is way over-discussed in melee. Ark has been drastically out-punishing Arsenal's this game, and that's why the stock count looks like it does. Yeah. Like, Arsenal's has been doing pretty well in neutral, but Ark is just killing him, and Arsenal's is not killing Ark. We saw earlier, Arsenal's got a really good, like, double jump read on Ark's get-up attack, but then he just didn't really convert very well off of it. Yeah. Uh, that was a really good wait. Okay, Arsenal's, uh, he edgeguarded Marth very well right there. That's something that Fox players are generally not very good at. One of my favorite quotes from any uh, Smasher was uh, Captain Facial saying, uh, who cares if you outplay him in neutral more yep. if you kill him off every hit? And I really took that to heart because it's just, it's true. Like, if you can win neutral four times and win. This is why Ice Climbers players are so successful, particularly at the regional level. If you can just punish the crap out of someone, then you're going to win. Yeah, it's... Like, for for most levels of the game, I can't speak for all of them, especially because I haven't played with all of them, but for the most part, for 99% of people, if you can out-punish them, you're just going to win. Yeah. Unless you, like, have a horrible disadvantage in neutral, which you shouldn't. Yeah. But, uh, I feel like that's... Mm, especially okay. in this matchup, it's super true, because both of them can kill each other so early that winning in neutral more... Yeah, look. If your punish isn't good enough. Arsenal's yeah. has just... He just literally died from misspacing a back air. Yeah. And Arsenal's has not forced Ark to space perfectly yet. Yeah. So if Arsenal's could do that by... And he, it's it's like a self-fulfilling... Well, a chicken or the egg thing, maybe. Oh, God. Okay. So we talked about breaking people in the previous set with Dusk and Thorax. I think this might happen right now, depending on how this stock goes. I think I mean, Arsenal's might be starting to feel helpless because he just like tried to touch Ark and now Ark is just killing him. He's doing better at DIing the throws now than he was oh my really God. early in the Ark, set, Ark, this Ark a, just keeps this beating him This is 120% combo. Ark just grabbed him at like 0%. Yeah, it's just... It's really hard not to feel hopeless in this position because you just it feels like you can't do anything. Yeah. That's one of the most horrifying parts of melee where you just feel utterly outclassed. Not that you are outclassed, but you feel that way. Yeah. Just you start getting beaten so hard, you just start yeah. beating yourself up, and it just becomes so much harder to play. 
Yep, see, Arsenal is messing up his tech skill. It's over. Yeah. But so, like I said in the last set, I'm confident that Arsenal's could beat Ark next time if he just gets better about this. But yeah. again, that's hard. Uh, Fan black air, man. Uh, yeah. There's the up smashes. So yeah, here Ark is getting greedy and doing like double jump fairs and stuff. The thing about punishing people is what I was saying about the self-fulfilling prophecy is that when you punish people extremely hard, you also make them more afraid to, you know, commit. So Ark is not afraid of uh, arsenals at all right now. Yeah. So he's just doing really greedy stuff a lot. Um, this isn't to say that arsenals is not a good player. It's to say that he hasn't forced Ark to really be afraid of him. Yeah. Because, I mean, if Ark gets hit, it's going to be like 20%, where Ark oh gets my hit, God. it's a stock. And it's Good over. stuff to Ark. That was a really... Ark put on a clinic that last game. Yeah, Ark went on a tear on that game, dude. That looked um, Good stuff to Arsenal's, too, on the first game, particularly. Um, yeah, get him next time, man. Yeah. Arsenal's definitely not far off if he just... Starts getting the deeper punishes and making Ark be yeah. afraid. You have to make the other person afraid, and then they're more afraid to punish you, right? Yeah. So it, it doubles down. When yeah. you punish people really hard, you not only take their stock faster, but you make them more afraid to take yours, and you make them mess up more. Yeah. You know, if you, like, read someone's soul a bunch of times in a row, they just get really scared. Yeah. I mean, once you get...